Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you another option for pot and pot cooking in your Instant Pot. I was sent this product by the company to test out and to share with you guys if I liked it and I am loving it. So I wanted to share it with you guys, show you um, how it works, give you a couple caveats about it, and then um, do a couple of recipes. I'm gonna do a meatloaf and some cornbread. I'm gonna do them both at the same time because it's a stackable, stackable pots um, and show you how it works. So um, this is the box. It's uh, the, oh, it's hard to see, Max, Max Rock brand and with a tagline like easy your life. I mean, how can you go wrong? So they are these stainless steel stacking pots and you can see they have this really nice handle, a rack that goes around it, and you can see um, there's even space here at the bottom so that you don't have to put a trivet underneath, uh, which is good because it doesn't fit in my six quart instant pot with a trivet underneath it. A lot of people will make aluminum foil sleeves to put around their pot in pot cooking, or you can buy silicone sleeves, but this one's just really nice that it comes with a handle and it's really secure. You don't have to worry about you know anything slipping off it holds it really really well so um, the pot there's two stacking pots and this the handle just comes off just like that you can see so the bottom one it doesn't have a lid the top one just functions as the lid and then the top one has this lid and there's no silicone or anything on the lid um, it just sits right on the pot um, if you have an eight quart instant pot you should have no trouble just fitting it right in to your instant pot and cooking very easily with my six quart instant pot it just barely fits in like that so like i said you can't put a trivet underneath it if you have a six quart instant pot if you have an eight quart you may i don't know because i don't have one but um it does this uh holder does hold it above the water um, enough so that it is fine just putting directly into your Instant Pot. Of course, you want water on the bottom of your Instant Pot liner. Um, you never cook pot in pot without water in the liner itself. You don't have to put water in the, the pot in the pot, but you do have to put the water in the liner. So it just barely fits here in my six quart and the lid um, fits on just barely. Now on the box here, it says it fits a five, a six, or an eight quart pressure cooker. Um, I don't know for sure because I don't have a five quart pressure cooker, but I would say beware it may not fit because it just barely fits into my six quart. Um, and so if you're, if I don't know if the five quart um, insert inner pot is the same height as the six quart or not, but it would have to be because it just barely fits. So that's one thing to um, remember if you have the five quart Instant Pot. So there's a quick peek at what it looks like and how it fits in the Instant Pot. And now I'm gonna head into my kitchen and work on a couple recipes. The recipe I'm using for the cornbread comes from the Essential Instant Pot Cookbook. It's this on the front here. I haven't tried it yet. I'm really excited to try it. The only change I'm making to the recipe is using coconut milk instead of regular milk or buttermilk. Uh, just to keep it dairy free. So that's the cornbread recipe. The uh, meatloaf recipe is uh, from a blog online that I will link to down below. And the only change I'm making on that recipe is instead of gluten-free breadcrumbs, I will be using the sweet potato flour I get from the Asian market. And I will be lining both of my pans with parchment paper just for easily getting the things out of the pan as well as for easy cleanup. And I think I'm ready to get started.
All right, let's see what we got here. So the top one here is the cornbread. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Now I do want to check to make sure it's fully cooked because it is on the top and sometimes things that are higher away from the bottom heat don't cook quite as fast. So I'm going to check it and I may need to put it back in for a few more minutes if it's not all the way done. Oh, that looks pretty done actually. So I think I think it's good to go. I'm just gonna let it cool for a little while before I try to pull it out of the pan. And then here is the meatloaf. And I will pull that out and cut into it. Make sure it's all done. All right. It smells delicious. So that's, ooh, definitely cooked through. Here's a little better angle here for you. You can definitely see it is cooked through. It looks delicious. It has diced apples in it. The sauce on top looks really good. Can't wait to dig into this. All right, now let's check out this cornbread. The parchment paper makes it so easy just to pull out and you don't have to use a spring form pan. So that's nice. Oh, it smells so good. Now I'm not eating this kind of thing right now with the wheat flour in it, but I made this for the kiddos. So when they get home from grandma's house, they're going to get to try it. And there it is. It looks delicious, just like on the uh, cover of the Instant Pot book. It smells absolutely delicious, and it just looks like it's cooked perfectly. I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration of using the Max Rock pressure cooker insert pans. I will put a link down below to where you can get these on Amazon. I will also put a link to the meatloaf recipe as well as the cookbook um, on Amazon where you can get the recipe for the cornbread. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will be back again soon.